All right. Uh, this is actually an ANSYS flow tutorial, but ANSYS itself has provided in his help to understand uh, the periodic boundary condition and how to use it and how to implement it. So if you look at the schematic of the problem, you have the flow from left to right uh, with the bulk temperature of 300 Kelvin and the mass rate of 0.05 kilogram per second. And you have uh, a bank of tubes actually which contains uh, the same fluid uh, water with a higher temperature of 400 Kelvin. And since this is a kind of periodic pattern, we can use this periodic boundary condition here uh, instead of inlet and outlet, uh, which are in this fluid domain. So if you go to this ANSYS fluent and uh, just use this 2D and uh, press OK, so the mesh are already the mesh is already created. We just need to import it to our fluent. Um, so it's somewhere on my desktop. Fluent tutorials, periodic flow. And here is the mesh. So here you see only a part of this uh, part of the fluid domain is uh, generated in the mesh and the geometry and these two balls actually on the top and bottom bottom are considered as symmetric boundary condition but these two would be periodic since we have this pattern uh, showing up periodically in a streamwise direction uh, so if i go to general first uh, this is pressure based and uh, this is this would be a steady state simulation the model I would like to turn on the energy equation and the viscous would be laminar because uh, the velocity is quite low and uh, considering the diameter of the cylinder uh, the Reynolds number would be something around 100 so if I go to material my material is not air I go to fluent database and I choose water and liquid and I copy so I have my water liquid with all the the constant values of um, density thermal conductivity viscosity and so on and uh, <clears throat> so if I go to my cell zone condition and instead of uh, air I will pick up the water liquid and I press OK so if I double click on boundary conditions uh, so if I go to display first so symmetries we know which one are symmetries let's let's see it together the symmetries are the walls on the top and the bottom but these walls for example wall 12 21 3 and 9 they're actually these walls but I have to find out which one is which one so if I 3 and 9 perhaps 12 and 3 12 and 9 yeah so 12 and 9 are actually the walls in the out in the inlet and outlet condition which are currently set as well so if I click on uh, it was 12 and 9 right yeah so it was 12 and 9 so these are uh, type uh, type are set to wall which are not correct and we would like to make it like uh, periodic but uh, if you right click on this and uh, if you right click on wall for example wall 9 and go to type there is no actually periodic boundary condition here so it seems like uh, in the GUI it's not possible to change the periodic change the boundary condition to periodic so I'll just go on this uh, command prompt on the console and I type mesh and then I click again and then you have something like uh, modify zones then I and then there should be make periodic here make periodic right so my periodic zone 
it was uh, if I was not wrong it was ball 12 and 9 right but to make sure again which one is ball 9 is inlet yeah ball 9 is inlet and ball 12 is outlet so I press periodic zone 9 and the shadow zone will be 12 so this is a rotational periodic no this is not rotational this is transition uh, transitional translational and I click no create periodic zone yes about trans auto detect translation vector yes so if I go back to wall yeah you see that wall 9 and 12 are gone now and you just have this periodic condition here so if I click on this periodic conditions here, I would like to have uh, the type is mass flow, since we know the mass flow that is going through this periodic condition, and that is 0 0.05 kilogram per second. If you remember in the per in the problem description here. So the pressure gradient, uh, I would keep it as zero. This is a this is a linear. Uh, pressure gradient and it's not a periodic boundary con a periodic uh, pressure so actually the, the pressure gradients have two terms one is uh, periodic pressure and the other one is linear gradient of pressure and uh, to understand this I would recommend to go to help uh, fluent help to understand uh, what, what is better and what is actually this uh, the other one which is periodic pressure gradient so this is these are the relaxation factor and this is the number of iteration uh, in order to find the correct pressure gradient beta here. Upstream ball temperature is 300 which is correct and the flow direction is X. So I click OK and then <clears throat> what I need to do is to go to wall 21 and uh, go to thermal and put the temperature to 400 so this wall 21 and wall 3 are actually uh, the walls of the tubes so you see these are wall 21 and 3 and the temperature of the the, the, the wall of the tubes uh, are 400 kelvins so I'll do the same for wall 3 put the temperature to 400 and I press OK so I think I have uh, I'm done with the boundary condition and how to set up the periodic boundary condition here. Now I'll go to method. I'll just use this coupled instead and use the pseudo transient and uh, the residual. I'll make it a little bit lower so that it doesn't show the convergence before it really converged and. I'll go to initialization. I'll pick hybrid initialization. I do initialize, and hybrid initialization is done. There is a message that this case has no inlet and outlet, and that is true. You have only this periodic boundary condition. And um, for the temperature, I would like to patch the temperature of 300 Kelvin for the initial condition in the zone, in the flow domain and I press patch so I think I'm good to run the simulation for some 350 iterations and I press calculate so this is hopefully fast to the simulation with no lots of mesh uh, yeah So it's uh, converged. <clears throat> I'll go to post processing and uh, let's take a look at, for example, static pressure. And I'll pick this field one as well. So you see that uh, static pressure uh, near to the cylinder, you have this stagnation zone. This is a typical flow, and on top of the cylinder or the tube, you have the lower pressure. So if you go to view, and uh, 
you want to perhaps do the symmetry condition you choose the mirror plane symmetry 18, 13, 11 and 24 and here you see that actually you have the symmetry line the symmetry planes uh, already active so if you want to do the, the, the periodic as well in the streamwise direction you can define the periodic repeats like number of repeats uh, you can set it to 2 and then you see you have two uh, two same Floyd domain in the X direction so this is quite periodic uh, everything is repeating uh, after one Floyd domain uh, we can take a look at, uh, for example, the velocity as well, the contour of velocity. And save display. So you see that uh, the mass flow rate of point, uh, 0.05 is uh, actually uh, kept. If you go to surface integral, for example, and the report type uh, you go for area weighted average and just uh, I don't know pick the periodic and go for uh, yeah go for uh, flow rate indeed and just compute and then mass flow rate and then for periodic compute you see that this uh, mass flow rate on the periodic uh, boundary condition is set to 0.05 kilogram per second and uh, you can also take a look at the contour of temperature to see how the temperature is developed in the field you go to new instead of velocity I'll pick uh, temperature and static temperature would be fine I'll, I'll choose field save and display so here you see in the beginning you have the lower velocity uh, lower temperature on the inlet and then close to the bank close to the tube banks the the temperature is a little bit higher and is convected downstream but it's still this narrow pattern or narrow uh, flow of uh, lower temperature is quite obvious on the top of the cylinder Mm. Um, you can also take a look at the surface integral of temperature for example um, then you can go for <clears throat> area weighted average and then temperature and then the same periodic and you see that this uh, the, this area weighted average of temperature on the periodic boundary condition is something like 323 so this is uh, this was a tutorial that ANSYS Fluent provided for this periodic boundary condition uh, and I hope you have learned something in this tutorial until next bye bye